Hello and welcome back to Dwarf Fortress Tower Divine. Okay, so let's get on with things here. Unpause and let it go. Actually, it looks like the frame rates aren't doing as bad as I th originally thought. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's dropping. In fact, it's dropping quite a bit. Okay, so what are we doing here? Um, I did let it go a little bit since last episode, which was, yeah, like I said, it was sort of a disaster recovery because it was just kind of a mess all that stuff from the previous episode so we'll just move on from all that stuff so um yeah i'm feeling much better too in case people were wondering those those episodes were shot and i was just like really ill really bad we got a guy with a mysterious mood doing something here i forgot what did he get his stuff he's been building something okay and there's really not much else going on just, most of my dudes are carrying things away to the dump and okay human poet visiting I think what we're gonna do now that we have um, I think everything we need for the study or the library sorry we'll make this a meeting area sign and we're gonna add location it shows down here in the bottom so it's a new location and we're gonna do library L the home of glazes. All right, so there's the library for you. I don't think the temple needed much else beyond just some containers. Let me see here. Pretty much that's it. I will probably add some statues though too. So I figured, you know what? I wanted to sort of do that on there anyway. Let's do that. All right, so this will be the temple. Same thing, meeting area. Sign location, add location, temple T. Now, this is like what I was saying last time. We can assign it to a specific deity. And you can see here, each one probably, like, I'm assuming for civilization or maybe what's, I don't know. I, I did the, I'm, I'm assuming they're, they're unique to each world and all that. So, and it just tells you like what, what sphere of, uh, influence they cover so I'm gonna do no specific deity because just like I said previously it's there seems to be no no disadvantage to having it as that you know so we'll let it do that so we'll start seeing people po probably um come and hang out in these places too and I do have uh, one of my guys smoothing yeah and I think really it's about it. oh whoa, whoa. a schist door. Well, all right, <laughs> not too good, but um, maybe when we get some nobles or something, some noble rooms, and maybe the let the next let's play. I'm really seriously thinking about doing something a little bit different with just like the layout and stuff of how we do the fort. I know it's sort of implying that we're probably going to do something along the lines of. Um, some sort of a mega project, but I, I really haven't thought of what we're going to do exactly. It's not going to be like insane or anything because I, I sort of don't really know stuff about pumps and uh, things of that nature. So I'm probably going to avoid that kind of thing, but it'll just probably be like mega constructions or something. We're just doing something really kind of weird or crazy. that will be time consuming and interesting. Mm, I keep bouncing around this idea in my head of making a fort where every person's got their own individual room it's almost like an estate and in that estate they'll have like a front foyer where they have like, like a living area where there's like a dining room for the whole family to come to there'll be a room a couple rooms in the back for um different family members to actually have bedrooms individual bedrooms as well as like a family tomb area and if they have to be craft people, they would have like um, like an like a, like a area for a workshop. So it would be rather large estates for each person. We actually wouldn't have a centralized dining hall. And since now we have taverns anyway, and the dudes seem to come to the taverns, we'll probably do an underground tavern like what we did here. And then that'll just sort of be that'll sort of like kind of be both a tavern and like a general meeting area for everybody 
Um, but exactly how to pull that off, I don't know yet. So it's just sort of an idea I've had for a while, like doing sort of something along those lines. And then sort of the same lines, maybe doing something similar to that, like but building on the surface, like actually building individual buildings and individual homes. But you only have so much surface area, so you'd have to build up, and I'd have to think, find some way to make it kind of um, secure. I don't know how I would do that, really. So another petition, entertaining citizens. That are entered buttoned. <laughs> okay, I won't even say it. Okay, um, he's just an entertainer. I really, really don't need him, but I will approve it anyway, just just for the heck of it. All right, what was I doing? Yes, I was going to build, and you probably didn't see this part. Um, let's make an up. What am I doing here? Hit the construction button. There you go. Now you hit the up button. Uh, there you go. Upstairs. Upstairs here. Uh, logs. And I'm thinking of making up, down, and just making multiple levels and see just how many people will they allow us to put in here. Um, see up downstairs, that's X. There we go. Once we do that, I can get rid of our, uh, our ramp going up here. Is that our chick? Is that one of the pets? Yeah, it's a duckling. So, you know, for it to get down, it must have just somehow got up there. Oh. Too bad for you. <laughs> Maybe we'll draw away some of our enemies or something. Alright, so now... What I want to do is make this sort of secure in case goblins do come. And that makes making... A second level, maybe even a third level... Whoa, 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 whoa. Forgotten Beast... Golgun Rulusugath. Sounds very, uh... <laughs> Cthulhu-like um, has come. All right, a gigantic alligator. Oh, that's just what we needed. An alligator with lidless eyes. It has a pair of spindly antenna and it belches and croaks. Beware of its noxious secretions, which is not good. Hmm. This is on the level this is, but there's no openings anymore. So we are okay, but if we ever want to go into that cavern layer at some later point in time, which I'm not sure we will, that's another thing I want to talk about this episode. And, um, hmm, yeah, it'll be kind of challenging because usually when they do like the poisons and, and crap like that, it's not good at all, so. Alright, well, let's just let that go. And the reason I was saying that maybe we wouldn't do that, yeah, I figured it'd be kind of amphibious, is most likely I'm probably going to be ending this Let's Play when I get my computer back. And it may be coming back very, very soon because my computer guy called me um, uh, yesterday from my, from my point of view, two days ago when you see this uploaded. And he'll have, um, he's currently, now he got the part in, he's currently kind of stress testing the computer, so... Hopefully, I'll get it back tomorrow, and or maybe I should say the same day that you're seeing this uploaded. So that would be pretty cool. Uh, let's see here. Oh, well, that thing don't look too good. What is that thing? Cave crawler. Voracious cave crawler. All right. Reacher. Okay, so the forgotten beast is going to drift in and out since we can't see everything. So, yeah, I mean, I'm not going to end it immediately, but what I want to do is I want to have, um, I want to build this tower up, kind of like I said, and build the walls up and whatever else I feel like doing. I don't know yet. <laughs> so, all right. I think what I'm going to do here, let's see, I'm going to do some more work on this stuff here, make rooms, individual rooms. And I'm going to deconstruct some of the, the flooring, I think, over this area. And just so we can maybe get more petitions in. Um, I have a lot of trap, cage traps set up to be done. I'm going to work on the road next. And I think I will work on 
making areas for these. What I might do is maybe just lay out some like small square towers here and here. I'm not sure, maybe somewhere over here too or something. And um, that will give us access to the, to the next level. And I'm going to start building a second level. It will be out of, out of just um, you know, like stone blocks. And the next level after that will be sort of the lip hanging over and maybe some sort of a um, fortification or some sort. I, I'm not sure how I'm going to design that yet, but uh, I just don't want things crawling up the walls and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, so I'll just pause here. Okay, I wanted to show um, one of the first warshippers. Apparently he's meditating on trade, our miner. Um, doesn't say anything specific about it, but that's, he's, he's sort of just hanging out in there. And I have played, uh, I've been playing another fortress off air. And sort of, I've sort of done these before, you know, a couple of days beforehand, just to kind of test out the different systems. And in that particular fort, there's a lot of people in, in both of these rooms. So I, I don't know why I'm not seeing a whole lot in either one of these rooms. But um, hopefully that'll change because um, some of them are reading the books and stuff that you get. Well, what is that saying? Construct building could not find path, huh? Oh, oh, I, I designate a lot of stuff, and I, that's probably why. I just they're standing in the wrong spot. Yeah, I just got a lot of stuff in the way. That'll be fixed soon. I, I designate the roads, and that'll be done soon. But um, let's see here. Yeah, they're just doing that, so I'm not worried. I'm not too worried about that stuff. All right, so what was I getting at? Yeah, I think those things will. We'll get more people in these rooms soon, and you'll see some more interesting stuff. I hope. So, yeah, I guess that's really it. Not much else is going on. Okay, now, I got this emptied out. Let's see here. I got a furniture stockpile here. I think I got pretty much everything I need. The only thing is, what is in here? Animals, bars, blocks that aren't the regular stone blocks. So, those almost have to go over there. I guess. Hmm... Cause I want to make this all wood, this one here. So, yeah, I guess I'll just put them in there. I don't now, animal didn't really need to be so freaking big, though, but I'll right, we'll just make that an animal one. Now, the bar block one, B. All right. Just got to remove the, the stone one. And that should be all set. Then I can just delete this one here. P and X. They got a bit too much to do right now. So then put a new one in. W. Oh, what? There you go. Yeah, because they were going to move most of this stuff. It's like kind of furniture, I think. What is this guy doing? This one's doing doors. And this one's just continuing to do blocks. Mm, I still, the idols are still doing all that hauling stuff, so it's going to be a while before I can get them. Okay, so now that we have the wood stuff, everyone's going crazy and going, going for the wood over here, and it's down all over the place. Oh, yeah, and I started doing this. Let's just go in here and un unsuspend these. All right, hopefully that'll get done properly now. Road is done. We need a bridge here. Also, raise that direction. Um, let's do something. Do I have any kind of different colors? Like cobalt or something? No, apparently I don't see any here. Maybe, maybe I'm just missing it. I don't know what color hornblende is, but we'll do it in hornblende. Eh, it's just a drab color, but all right, fine. Be that way. Hmm. Construction. Let's do it up down stairway above that. Yeah, make that out of that. Now that'll give us. Oh, we're gonna make the floor there, but that'll give us access up there. Uh, let's see here. Do, do our miners have anything to do? Pray to Domas. 
Might be the same guy. Yeah, I mean, this is, they're not really going to make... I guess I'm just not going to go into specifics about um, the praying stuff. And since I did finish all the dump waters there, let's actually dump stuff from this whole area here. Um, did I make a wood burner? Because I really probably need to get some more... Yeah, there we go. Wood furnace, sorry. We're going to need charcoal because we're going to start making the metalworking industry soon. And I think we got plenty of, um, plenty of wood. Plenty of workshop. Probably don't need to make any bows right now. That's one thing I could do is start working on a military, which I've never been very good at. I'd like to do that, though. But Maybe make, make it on this level here or something at a later point. And we have a ghostly miner. Yes, the fellow I mentioned last episode that fell into the water because he stupidly stood in the spot he was going to... Well, probably the other guy did it to him, but... Uh, yeah, the other miner probably... Um, dug it out <laughs> from underneath him. So so we have not memorialized him yet, so we will do that. Hopefully our dude will get to that. I think it's the engraver dudes that do the smoothing and engraving, so... We'll have to wait for him to get to prioritize that. If I have to, I'll just disable all the smoothing until he does it, and then come back and let's re-enable that. But oh, and one of the human spearmen visitors have come down here to the temple area and is meditating on death. No information on that. I think it's the one of the ones for that petition does, because I don't think we'd be able to see otherwise. Now he's meditating on scholarship. Okay. And one thing I did learn about that is um, there's like kind of two levels, at least, to my understanding, at least so far, of those petitions. So they'll petition you to stay at your place, and they'll petition you later on for actual full citizenship. And at that point, you're able to control them and tell what labors they can do and not do. So they do show up in Dwarf Therapist, but they you're not enabled to you're not able to do anything with them in Dwarf Therapist or manipulate their, you know, their 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 jobs and their what, what's enabled, what's not enabled and all that stuff. So I did learn that. So that'll be something kind of cool if we get some uh, different kind of people. I was hoping for some animal people. Because I know like they have basically all these animals. There's supposed to be all these animal people now in um, ad Adventure Mode where you can actually play as an animal person and, and you'll see a lot of them around I guess I haven't tried adventure mode yet maybe I will at some point here but uh, um, yeah I mean I just thought it'd be kind of cool if we had some uh, some weirdo looking freaking animal people coming in the base but <laughs> haven't had that yet just humans dwarves and, and elves unfortunately elves but oh well I guess we'll pause again something else is really going on Oh, and stupid me, I never showed you people the frickin' uh, the well from last episode, stupid. Anyway, I filled it up. And, um, basically just made, uh, carved the channel there and, um, put a table in. I'm gonna probably do traction benches at some near future time. This is a dormitory and a hospital. I, one thing I did forget was I don't have a container in here. Do I have containers? There you go. All right, we need a container for hospital. I forgot about the, the container for the hospital room. You need tables, too, for the operating tables, and I have a bucket stockpile. And I was going to put something in here. I forgot what I was going to do, but well, let's just dump. Put, add that to all the dump list. I really should just add everything to the dump list, but yeah, let's get started on those. See, these are going to be the future uh, noble quarters. These rooms, these, and maybe like some of the more minor nobles will be here. Do I have... And I really need to get a bookkeeper. Well, keep it in the escape too much. Do I have anyone that accomplished record keeper? Novice. Nish Moose... Blah, 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 blah. Okay, you're, you're now the... The dude. Yeah, we just got a new mayor too somehow. Alright, you need... You're going to need a bedroom probably with a... Oh, let's just see. Eager quarters in an office. 
I'll have to find his room here and maybe just, um, who knows where he is. And yeah, that's him. Okay. Where was it? This one. Okay. So, <sighs> okay, let's get your crap, this, all this crap out of here. He doesn't, he only really just needs a, a table and a chair. No, 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 no. Table here. Chair here. And since we're at it, let's just give you a container if we have any. No, I actually want to give you something stone, so forget that. Or we could give you a cabinet, I suppose, if we have any. Yes, we do. All right. So that'll be the record keeper. At least he'll get going on our stocks. Or looking at the stocks. When, whenever they get that. Um, I might have to dis... I don't know. Do you have to disable their... Ah, uh, their, uh, their, their labors for them to do this, though. I don't know if they'll prioritize it real well. I might have to do that with him. Hmm... Yeah, I'm going to pause the recording here anyway, just to check to our therapist, but uh, yeah, I might have to disable that for him anyway. Be right back.